stop it. <gasps> Did you get it, Squishy? Ooh, new sockies. <gasps> you love room on the broom. Oh, you found your teether. Yeah. Cotton candy. Nope. I see you found your cup, Charlotte. Peekaboo. Do you know what today is? I know what today is. Today is finally Halloween decorating day, and I could not be more excited. Are you excited, Charlotte? It's your first time decorating for Halloween. Hold on, wait. Something just doesn't look right. Hold on. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now we are so excited to be decorating for Halloween. Now that we are in the spirit, we are going to be doing my mantle and living room today. And we may jump around to some other rooms. I don't know. I'm just going to see where the wind blows and where the spooks take me. Are you ready, pretty girl? So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, let's jump right into Halloween decorating. Okay, so for those who are new here, I am just going to warn you, I go above and beyond for Halloween. I know it's just Halloween, but I just loved Halloween. So yes, this is going to look like a lot, but I absolutely just love this holiday. So let's just get that out of the way. You don't need to tell me, you don't need to let me know. I know I go crazy, but we actually are going to be decorating my living room and my dining room today. I was able to fit that in this video too, so I'm super excited with how everything came out, and I think you're really going to love it. So first, we're going to start off with the fireplace and mantle, and I, am, of course, I'm just going to add some spider webs to my old window here. I love adding spider webs to things because instant Halloween decor. So, I mean, that's the easiest thing you can do. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some fairy lights uh, to my mantle, and then I will be covering it. Now, that block in the middle there I use as a riser. Now, no worries. I'll be covering it up, but I've been loved doing this because it makes signs higher and it makes it look more proportional to the window. So next, I'm going to take a creepy cloth, actually two, and I'm going to layer them in the middle. They are going to go all the way across the mantle, but they are going to kind of uh, cross in the middle. So you're going to see this mantle kind of switch up a little bit here and there. And then unfortunately, my camera stopped recording. So what the footage you see me decorating it's going to look different from the final reveal because I totally re, not like totally redid it, but I did change it up quite a bit and didn't catch any of it. So I apologize. But uh, next I'm going to go in with this skeleton sign I got from Five Below years ago and it does light up. Now it is purple, which I kind of wish it wasn't, but that's okay. It adds a little pop of color. Next I'm going to go in with these spooky trees. These ones either came from Target Dollar Spot or Five Below a couple years ago. And then I'm going to go in with my friends, the skeletons. Now I am kind of doing the same thing I did last year, but uh, I did change it up a little bit. So just hang with me because it will look different than last year. Now the one is missing his arm, so I put him on the right to kind of hide that. And I'm going to add a friend to the left side. And it's kind of, both of them are kind of like half sitting on the log and half not. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But I think it's also really cute uh, to cross their legs while they're sitting up there as well. So now I'm going to go in with these cloches. And these cloches I got from Target Dollar Spot last year. And what I'm going to do is put some moss on the bottom. And then take one of these Dollar Tree skulls and just sit it right in. I want it bones. I want it skeletons. I want it spooky. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and add one to the other side. I tried so hard not to be symmetrical with this, <laughs> but it just didn't work. I just can't help it. I, I just went the symmetrical route. route. I just, ugh, yeah, it's just my go-to. Now, nothing says spooky creepy to me like moss. I love adding moss to Halloween decor because I just think it ups the spook factor. So I'm going to go ahead and add moss. Now it's kind of messy, but you know, that's what vacuums are for. 
but I'm going to go ahead and kind of just tuck it in wherever there's kind of a hole or wherever it would make sense. Then I'm going to go in with these LED black candles that I got last year from the Target Dollar Spot. They are two heights, so there's a taller one and a shorter one. So I'm just gonna kinda tuck them in between all the decor and just kinda work with it, make sure the moss is surrounding them and just working them in. Next, I'm going to go in with these candlesticks. I don't, I think they might have been Target Dollar Spot last year. I'm not sure, but you're actually going to see that I removed them. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to place them on either side. And then I'm going to go in with a black leaf garland and put that across the top, although you are going to see that I take that down too. The reason why I sh I'm showing you what... I am doing and then telling you I'm going to take it down like why am I even showing it is because you're going to see it and you're going to be like whoa what happened to that footage so if I don't explain like where that came from all of a sudden I feel like you'd be confused so I felt like I needed a bigger piece to anchor that sign so I had my husband grab this mirror we had in the basement and I did have him put it off center at first and as you can see I did put spider webs on it and then I'm gonna put this sign to the side. Now this is where things start changing up and I thought I was recording, but don't worry, I will go over everything at the end slowly so you will see it. So now we're gonna jump down to the bottom and I did this last year and I thought this was hilarious. I basically just had a bag of random bones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them into my fireplace just all around these logs then i'm going to go in with spider webs and after i close the doors i'm going to put spider webs on the outside of the fireplace so real quick i do want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my youtube channel if you're new comment that down below so i can give you a proper hello and like i said my name's ashley i'm a wife and a mama of two a six-year-old and an almost one-year-old i don't want to talk about it but it is her birthday month so we're super excited for that and this channel is all about real life I live in leggings, my hair is always in a messy bun, I rarely ever wear makeup, and hey, I'm just trying to get through this thing called life. So if you can relate to any of that, hit that subscribe button so you can hang out with me more often. All right, so next I took these little gate things from the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, I showed you that I chopped off the little um, like points there, uh, and then I'm just going to put them at the bottom of my fireplace and then I'm gonna go in with this huge cauldron. Now I did stuff some bags in there just to give it some height, but I am gonna stuff a blanket that we are not using right now in it just to go ahead and fill it up because then on top I am going to put one of my Halloween blankets and this one says feeling wicked. It's a Ray Dunn blanket and these blankets are so soft. I love these, I love to decorate with them, but I also love to use them too. Then on the top, I'm going to go in with another Ray Dunn piece, and it's a pillow that says Home Sweet Haunted Home. <laughs> So this is the first video in my Halloween decorating series, but you know what comes after this, Christmas. So definitely hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload all of my other Halloween decorating videos, plus vlogging videos like just behind the scenes and just Halloween fun. We are taking a trip to San Francisco in a few weeks, so I'm hoping to have some footage of that, but I would love for you to join me through all of it. So as you saw, I went ahead and added a little dog or skeleton dog. And then I had these little wreaths from the Target Dollar Spot last year. So I thought it would be fun to use them as like little candle rings and add a little pop of color to the candlesticks. 
Moving on to the other side, I apologize, I kind of cut this off, but I just have some black light up sticks in that long vase there. And then that skeleton in the cauldron was actually a DIY I made years ago before I even had a channel. So I decided to add that. And then I went ahead and added that other candlestick and the wreath. And that's it, that completed my fireplace and mantle. Moving on to my TV stand, and let's see if you can guess what movie I'm watching. But I'm simply just going to add a creepy cloth to the top, and then these solar power skeletons, and this beware sign, from the all from the Dollar Tree. Then to the shelves, I'm going to add this little tray that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I'm going to add this jar of skulls, which I made years ago. One of these uh, little potion bottles, which is skull powder. And then, of course, we have to add a little skeleton. Now, to the bottom, I had these random hands. So I thought this would be funny to just kind of put them around this basket like he was holding the basket. I did this last year, and I really, I don't know, I got a kick out of it. All right, now we're gonna move on to my table and chair in the corner. So I do have a yellow frame, and it just so happened to have a Halloween picture of us last year. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch out the frame. And that is like a really good tip. Just switch out frames. Go to the Dollar Tree, buy a, a $1.25 frame, and look at the difference that made. No, I don't need an extended warranty on a car that I got rid of five years ago. <sighs> Geez, those people just don't let go, do they? So now I'm going to go ahead and replace the photo on the wall with that skeleton that I was going to use on my mantle. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some pillows and blankets. These are all pillow covers that I got from Amazon last year. So I just put my filler pillows in there and then I'm going to kind of spread them around the room. And I did add a blanket to the couch. I just forgot to like tape it I guess I don't know <laughs> anyways I always add something to my basket too and then of course we have to add the bats so to do this I am going to use the scotch mounting tape last year we used painters tape and we were picking up bats all day long but this I know will work it's just that when I go to take them off I know I have to be really careful so it does not rip off the paint but and I could even use like a hair dryer to help too Now to the wall over my couch, it's there's nothing on it like throughout the year and I'm actually about to do a refresh before Christmas, I hope. I hope I can squeeze it in. But I'm gonna go ahead and add these DIY frames. I bought the actual mat from Do the Dollar Tree like years ago. I have not seen them in a while, but I think Party City has them. Then I just went to the thrift store and picked up some gold frames and just simply glued them on just to kind of make them look a little bit more high end. And of course, these are the ones that like the faces change and they're spooky. But that's it. That completed my living room.
So now we're going to move to the dining room and we are going to start off at the hutch. Now I decided to do the same thing on this hutch, but this is the only thing that I kept the same from last year. So if you just watched my decorating marathon, just don't worry. I do switch it up a little bit. So uh, hang with me. But like last year, I loved hanging this creepy cloth like in the back of the hutch. I just felt like it added uh, that, you know, spook factor. And so I just kind of arranged it so it, it mostly covered the back. And then I'm going to add the glass shelves in again. Now I did add creepy cloth to the bottom of this hutch, but I just kind of cut it off. But don't worry, you'll see a better view of it in just a minute. Now to the top, I'm going to add these DIY potion jars that I made a couple years ago on my channel. And then I'm just going to add some other jars with, you know, your basic uh, limbs or ears, fingers, things like that. And this you're going to kind of see me play with a little bit too. Now this was another DIY I made last year on my channel. And I realized that I have a, had a command hook there, so I thought to put the chain and kind of hang it. And and then I felt like it needed bumped up a little bit, so I did go ahead and add one of my logs that I love. I use them all year round because they're just so great. So like I said, you're just going to see me kind of like move things all around. And even in the final shot of this hutch, you're going to see some things that I added off camera. But I just went ahead and put the pick your poison sign. Now there are a lot of things in my home that you're seeing that do light up. I did not have enough batteries for all of it, so you're just going to have to catch my Halloween home tour coming up soon. That way you can see it all lit up, and it's going to look so cool. All right, moving down to the middle shelf, I made this little display case, or I don't know what you want to box, uh, I guess, uh, on my channel a couple years ago, along with that sign, and then all of these little potion bottles or apothecary bottles. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just arrange them. Some of them are laying down. Some of them have two. Some of them have three. They're super easy to make too. And then I'm just going to go in with some random potion bottles that I've just collected over the years and just arrange them in the apothecary. Now, when I say DIY on my channel, I... I forgot I'm not on my DIY channel right now. I'm in, on my other channel. So all of the DIYs I made are actually on my other channel, Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. And the link to that channel is in the description box. So if you want to try any of these DIYs that I mentioned that I had made in the past, then definitely go check out that channel and hey, binge watch them. <laughs> they I have made a ton of DIYs. But hey, if you're just here for the decorating, that's cool too. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think so far. I am loving how everything's coming out. So for the bottom shelf, I'm going to go ahead and add all the spell books. And look at these fun books. It does make noise, uh, but it was kind of noisy in my home, so I couldn't really play, play it. But... I got those from Big Lots years ago, and they're still going strong. So now I'm just going to kind of just load up books on either side. And I do add um, two more pieces to this shelf off camera, which you'll see in just a second. But then, of course, I have to go in with the moss because I just feel like, again, that just ups the spook game.
To complete this shelf, I'm just going to take a creepy cloth and I am just going to put it over the top. I just felt it was a little too white for me and I wanted to darken it up a little bit. So I am just letting it hang and however it kind of fell, I'm kind of leaving there or leaving it how it, it does. I mean, I, does, I do arrange it a little bit, but that's it. And now my apothecary hutch in my dining room is complete. All right, next we're gonna move to the shelf on my back wall, but I wanted to show you this, I hate, I don't even wanna call this a DIY. It's not really, but I picked up this book. I couldn't believe it, it's purple. And I, I don't know if I mentioned, this dining room is witch themed and I kinda added purple as the highlighting color here. So I found this book at Ollie's, it's purple, and it says witch's craft. How perfect is that? So. I went ahead and kind of roughed it up a little bit and I'm adding some antique wax to make it look old and just it, like it's been through some stuff. So I'm just gonna rub this wax everywhere until I get it to look how I want. There, doesn't that look so much better? <laughs> All right, now that that's done, it's time to decorate this little shelf. So I'm gonna start off by putting spider webs on the shelf and just kind of hanging down. And again, however, it just naturally hung down. That's just kind of how I kept it. And the theme of this shelf, of course, the whole dining room is witches, but I kind of just added things that when you think of the word witch, what do you think of? Well, one of the things you think of is a spell book so we're going to go ahead and put this new spell book right on the shelf another thing that you think of are bats and don't worry there's actually going to be something going on these little candle holders these candle holders i got from target dollar spot another thing is a broom and that is a diy that i made a couple weeks ago on my channel so it's in one of my newer videos on the crafting channel so now I'm gonna go in with a cauldron. Now I wanted to add a black cat on this, I just didn't have one small enough, so I'm kind of on the hunt for that. Finally, I'm gonna add a black flame candle to one of my bats, and then a witch hat to the other one, and this is a sneak peek of a DIY that I have coming out on my crafting channel in just a few days. So now you have the inside scoop. All right, next I'm going to add some spider web to these windows, and these are actually not windows, they were doors to the hutch, and they were just sitting in my basement, and last year I was like, ooh, I should use them, I should paint them and hang them as decor pieces, so that's what I decided to do, so I changed it up every season and holiday, so of course I'm just going to go ahead and add my spider web, I didn't want it really thick on here, so I'm really spreading it out. And then I'm going to take a bat wreath that I got from Five Below last year and I'm going to hang that on this side and then I'm going to jump to the other side and do the same. Next, I decided we need some crows. So I picked up this pack of crows from the Dollar Tree and I added them all over the back wall. Next, we're going to move to my table, and this in my head I had as like a glammy, witchy dinner party. So I am going to start off with this crushed velvet tablecloth, and I use these tablecloths for everything because I just love them. They're cheap. It's just fabric that I go to Joanne Fabrics and I have them cut for me. I have one in almost literally every color and so does my mom because we just love using them. So then I'm going to add some boas to the middle to give it that glammy effect and of course I have to add some lights. Now again, no batteries so you're going to have to check out the home tour. So in a minute, you're going to see that I have some florals down on the table because I had them there last year, but ultimately I did decide to take them out, but I had to leave the footage in because I'm going to add some like spider lanterns that I got 
from Five Below years ago, and I didn't want you to be confused. I should have just named this video Changing My Mind because literally I changed my mind about e almost everything in this video. It's just crazy. <laughs> but anyway, that's life, isn't it? And you know, decorating, it's a process. And I like to be intentional for where I place things. I don't just throw things up. I, I take my time and I really vision or envision how I want something to look. And you know, I move them around. I play and plug basically until I get to the look I was going for. So I did have two of those lanterns. So I went ahead and put one on each end. And next I'm going to bring my bubbling cauldron that I made last year and put it right in the middle. Now I have some potion bottles I'm going to put on either side and all of this stuff does light up, but as you can see it was a little too bright in the room to do that. So now I'm going to jump to the place settings, but then after that we'll go back to the middle and add some fun stuff. So as a placemat, I'm going to use these spider webs I got from the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to go in with a silver charger. And then I have these plates. I have two of the spider web, two of the black. So I'm just alternating. And then I'm going to go in with these bandanas from Hobby Lobby. It's like a deep purple. And then I got this set of plates from Target years ago. Finally, I picked up these black wine glasses from the Dollar Tree last year. And as you can see, I did set every uh, table setting. I just edited it out. <laughs> Save some time. All right, so now I'm going to go in with these spiders. And I got these from Target last year. And I'm pretty sure they were like 90% off because it was like way after season. So I think each one of these bags were like 30 cents. It's crazy. But they have these like clips on the back. So it was easy for me. Uh, to hang these on things. So that's kind of cool. Now, did that dog not just freak you out? <laughs> he popped up as I was watching this back the first time. And, you know, this, you know, I'm decorating for Halloween and he just pops up out of nowhere. But anyways, I just had to say that. So I'm just going to spread out these uh, spiders along the middle. And then I'm going to go in with these roses that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I've just collected these throughout the years. It's like the dark purple with the eyeballs in them. If you're a Dollar Tree shopper, you know which ones I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all down the middle and just kind of make this look glammy. Now over my chandelier, I am going to take some creepy cloth and I'm just going to drape it. And again, however it falls or hangs, that's just how I'm going to leave it. And after my creepy cloth was on my chandelier, then that completes my witchy, glammy dinner party table. And I really love how it came out. Okay, next we're going to move to my four shelf corner stand from Hobby Lobby. And I completely changed this up from last year because we're going to go with a fortune teller theme. So I'm starting off with this sign that said fortunes. As you can see, it had some little things hanging off, but I just went ahead and pulled them off. And then I am adding creepy cloth to the bottom of every shelf just to give it that spook factor. Then moving down to the second shelf. I'm going to add these books that I got from the Dollar Tree this year. And then on top, I'm going to, of course, add my crystal ball that I got from TJ Maxx last year. And it does, the potion does move and everything, and it does make noise, so it's really cool. To the third shelf, I have this little display here from the spring, and I added a creepy cloth to the back just to kind of make it a little darker. And then from Amazon, I picked up this box of crystals these little jars that have crystals and I assume they're real I hope so because I could use some like good luck and good juju in my house so I am just going to put two of the jars in every little cubby here to make a little crystal shop now I knew I wanted to switch up this shelf from what I did last year because I just didn't like it I just threw up a bunch of random decor and there really was no theme. So when I went to the Dollar Tree and saw all that fortune teller stuff, I knew this is what I wanted to do. So next 
on the top, I'm just going to add a crystal shop sign that I made that again, you're getting a sneak peek of because it'll be on my crafting channel in a video in just a few days. Moving on to the bottom shelf, I'm again going to add the creepy cloth and then this sign from the Dollar Tree too. And I have that little stand there just to help prop it up. And then I'm going to add some DIY books that I made on my channel years ago, my other channel, <laughs> years ago. So as you can see, I actually do use the DIYs that I make. I don't use all of them, but there are a number of them that I actually do use every, every year. So then I'm going to add this lantern that I got at a craft show like a couple years ago. And then I found this hand at the Dollar Tree. And so I'm going to add that on the books. Then you know what comes next, the moss. So I'm going to go ahead and add moss to every single shelf. And that's it. That completed this shelf. And I can tell I'm reading your future. You are really going to love how this came out. All right, the final area we're going to decorate in my dining room is the bar cart. So I definitely changed this up from last year because I didn't really love it, but I, I love how this came out this year. So first I'm going to add some creepy cloth, and you can see that if I use risers or something, I am covering those too. Next I'm going to go in with this vampire juice pitcher that I got from TJ Maxx last year. Next, this is a here for the booze wine glass, and then a boo cold wine cup, I guess. And then I'm gonna add some straws. Next, I'm going to add this spider web piece. And someone did comment on my video and asked where that came from. I don't even remember. I got that years and years ago. Then to the front, I'm going to add a book for height and this eat, drink, and be scary sign I got from Dollar Tree a few years ago. Now, this bar cart is all about the booze, so I'm incorporating ghosts. Get it? Boo, ghosts. Get it? So I'm going to add that little Dollar Tree ghost to the front. Then I just added that little cauldron and put a tea light in it to kind of make like a little um, candle holder. Next to the front, I had one extra boa, so I thought that I would add it to, to the front of the bar cart just to add a little something, something. And then I'm going to go in with this super cute garland that has ghosts on it. And again, it's just going with that boo theme. Moving down to the bottom, I'm going to again add some creepy cloth and then I'm going to go in with another book just to add some height because I'm going to add this sign I got from TJ Maxx. It says, Hocus Pocus, I need wine to focus. And I just thought that was so funny. Next, I had one more little potion bottle, so I thought I'd add it to the front. Then I'm going to go in with another one of these light up ghosts. Now this will switch around a little bit as you'll see. Now I'm gonna go in with this pedestal riser and then I've had this for years. Look at this cute little dispenser. It says more booze, please. I think I got it from a store called Gabriel Brothers. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody has one of those, but I think oh, it's just so cute. I use it for all my Halloween parties. Then I'm just gonna go in with some Dollar Tree uh, little wine cups and then a pumpkin. And now is where you're going to see that I start switching it up a little bit. And so I'm just kind of going to move things around until I get it to how I like. Next, I'm going to go in with these cups from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hang them on like the little 
uh, wine glass holders. And then of course, for the final touch, I always add a towel to the little handle on the side and look how perfect this one is. It says, more booze please <laughs> and that completes my bar cart for halloween now it's time to add some finishing touches like this ingredients decor piece that does make noise and light up then i have this home sweet haunted home diy sign that i made on my channel a few years ago and it's still one of my favorites and then I have this welcome sign that I got from Five Below. That completes my dining room.
while I'm sitting here editing my video and realized I never did an outro. So I hope you got a lot of inspiration and ideas from my decorating video today. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought about all of it. I am absolutely in love with how my living room and my dining room came out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you loved what you saw, and click those notifications so you can get notified for the next video that I post. Also, if you haven't already, go jump over to Crafts with Ash DIY Wine Decor and check out all those videos too. I'm sure you'll find something that you love. All right, well, that completes another day in the life with Ash. Bye!